Hello, YouTube. The time has come that I am done with the Captain Marvel Adventures number 11. It came out pretty nice, in my opinion. So, what did we do? We leaf casted the book, we cleaned the book, we deacified the book. I am happy with the spine. This spine was a complete leaf casting job. We did fill in the back cover just to protect it. Obviously, there is no graphics or anything of that nature. We filled in all of the top. The spine is a little off because of the way the book was cut from the factory as well as I was unable to fold the spine perfectly on the staple lines. And that's an issue with leaf casting, at least with me. You really have one shot to fold it, and this is the way the book wanted to fall when I put it on my heat pipe. So maybe I could have done that a little bit better but you really don't want to start manipulating it after it sets because it is weak. The leaf casting is not strong. It is not made, in my opinion, to be used as if it was a new book. So I'm happy with the pages. The pages do open up nicely. They do close nicely. So we achieved the goal that I wanted to do with this book is to remove all the tape and to conserve it so it could be looked at in future generations. So the back cover opens up nicely. So I think I did a pretty good job with this book. I'm happy that I identified the color touch. If it wasn't for editing the video, I would not have found that because I noticed it on the upload that I put up prior, it was clear color touch. And although now there is a leaf cast section here, I'd much rather have that. So what are we going to do? I'm going to send this book off to CGC and I think I'm going to do it express. So I'm going to pay the money in order to get it back as soon as possible because I'm curious to see whether I will be able to get a conserved grade. I know the grade is going to be 0.5 because it's missing a few center folds. And I know that most likely they're going to say that a few of the center wrap, wraps are married. But the only issue is whether I will be able to get the conserved grade. Now CGC designates conserved grade as Conservation repairs are performed with the intent of preserving the structure, or structural or chemical integrity of the comic book using professional techniques and materials. So the key is whether this was done in a professional manner, I think. It excludes aesthetic repairs such as color touch and piece fill. All conserved grades must satisfy the CGC quality scale of A and the quantity scale of 1. So that's very specific. So what I did must be quality of A and quantity scale of 1. So what can you do? You can do tear seals, spine split seals, reinforcement, piece reattachment, some cover or interior cleaner, water or solvent, staples cleaned or replaced, some leaf casting. So the issue is whether that will be some, maybe not. Deacification. So I did a lot of these things. Materials used for conservation repairs. Rice paper, I did not do that. Wheat glue, vintage staples, archival tape. So wheat glue is sort of like equivalent in my opinion to the methyl cellulose so it's funny they're saying that leaf casting is acceptable but they don't mention paper pulp in the materials they should revamp that they also say you're allowed deacification so i guess you do that with when i use 
the calcium hydroxide, but that, I guess that's not a material, but they should add paper pulp to this. I'm going to have to call them and set up a meeting with them in the boardroom. So stay tuned, everyone, and take a look at the before and after pictures. And thank you for sticking with me on this journey. Another golden age conservation that I undertook. And stay tuned for the before and after pics, like I said. And for the next book that I'm going to work on, I haven't decided yet. Maybe what I'll do is I'll give a choice of three books and I'll let you guys decide in the comments. Enjoy the before and after and look out for future content.